There we go, river crossing. cabin with this dirty car. Let's get some ice and we're gonna head up to Syntax's house, pick him up. He's coming with me this trip. Hey, it's spring trip 2023. It'll be Sean and I'm gonna go pick up Sean right now and uh, Mike and Steve will be arriving tonight make this turn here without the camera going flying. Only medical man cannot attend this trip again, uh, not because of his back, but because of all the time that he missed with work. And he's he's just not able to, uh, to take off for that. He's got a little bit of catching up to do. So uh, we certainly understand that. Wishing him well and uh, hoping everything is good with him and his back. And uh, well, I know we're gonna see him later in the year, that's for sure. Put all of Sean's stuff in here. I'm really loaded. This is about as much as this thing's been loaded. No wonder I've got the Cherokee L. But uh, eh, this will do, this will do. It doesn't happen too often. There's a lot of stuff that's not coming back. And we're about to head up. We'll be in Wellsboro before you know it. We'll make a stop for ice when we're up there. And uh, then we'll get up to the cab and see how that's doing. So, as I said before, let's get going. We got more to go. We're just sitting here at Wegmans, and uh, Sean is in buying the Danny's favorite. We're gonna have that tonight. myself and the bugs we'll get the cabin opened up we'll get the solar plugged in we'll get a couple more hours of that all dark and quiet and 50 degrees Beautiful. where's the heater turn the heater on <laughs> we'll get some shades open get out back here I'm sure it's warm back here oh yeah Oh yeah, here we are. All right, we'll get us that car unloaded. We'll see you in a bit. Look at this view. Maybe we'll take another tree out or two down here, make it even better. Our small bank that we have up here, uh, pulling in 72 watts from the solar. That's at 54%. Get that thing charged up. It says it'll take 4.8 hours to charge it up at that rate. Well, of course, we don't have that much sunlight, strong sunlight left, but we got the, another one in the Jeep we'll bring in. I need a bigger boat. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now let's get over the shed and do what we need to do once we get up here. Let's get that flag out and fly that flag proudly for our country. That's for, for us, more important leader, servicemen and women from the Revolutionary War all the way to their 
where they are right now because we know they're everyone isn't home we're at peace supposedly but we know they're not home they're in harm's way and this is for you with that flag wave hey real quick on the beer this year i just wanted to get something nondescript i saw this in the local store this is uh big truck brewing this is queenstown uh, maryland and uh I've had the India Pale Ale, I tried that, so I figured what the heck, might as well get the, get the rest. So I got three six packs of this. Got a Hazy IPA, we got an India Pale Ale, and a Blonde Ale, which is nice and light at four and a half percent. Sean was down in Tennessee, picked up some Espresso Whiskey. This is like a shine kind of thing, Tennessee Shine Company. And I think this isn't too bad at like 60 proof, like 30% alcohol, so that's not gonna do too bad. And the old bourbon ball from last year that you saw, like putting that, either having a shot of that or just putting that right in our coffee. And uh, so we're, we're good for beer, I think. Uh, oh, one thing. I, I asked the guy to get me some Schlitz, old school <laughs> Schlitz. I like it. I think it's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. It's got a great flavor. I'll go with the Schlitz every time. That ice is, well. If it's going up into the 70s tomorrow or so, that ice is going to melt and that beer will go right in there. Gilly, I didn't do my temperature check once we got here, but let's take a look. Here it is, 4.17 p.m. on the 19th, 56 in, 59 out. Nothing like a little afternoon cup here and uh, enjoy that and see what else is going on. Have a couple things, minor things to do. Waiting on Mike and Steve. I checked out their ETA. It's going to be like 10 o'clock. Give it a little stir here. It's the cabin and uh, this little trail the guy put in when he was cutting trees and found this. Okay, time or two. Right here. And uh, this is actually a turkey dust duster. You can see the turkey track right in there. Another one right here. And then there's some turkey feathers right here. So uh, I haven't seen turkeys up here in a long time, but I had some on the game cam. Here's a couple of them. I think they're two hens, but uh, I'm glad to see the turkeys coming back. I think I'm gonna leave them go again this year. I wanna get them back to the sustainable levels before we start hunting them again, so. But I'm very, very happy to see that kind of stuff here. So we're going to walk up to the landing area now. This is some of that clover just starting to come up that I had planted. It's tough to see because it's there's not much of it. And some more over here. But uh, we need some some rain up here. It's a little on the dry side. Sean's down there. Let me go take a look. One solitary one, but well, I think I'm. Down. I think I, I'm seeing. Um, I think if you like really look close, I think I see a lot coming up. So I would say, I would say in a month if we get if we get some good rain within a month or so, I think we're going to be in good shape with this. Well, here's the Danny's favorite, and we're going to go ahead and put it in that grill when that grill heats up a little bit. We'll toast these up a little bit. They have. Uh, some oil and vinegar packets to go with them. We'll put them on there. Got some chips to go with this. So we'll be eating. We'll be eating good. That's for sure, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think so. Yeah. Like I said, we're waiting till the guys to ten. So we're just gonna have something to eat and just do some relaxing and get our fishing stuff together after this. Yep. There's the Danny's. We just toasted them up a little bit. You can see uh, the meat's turning just a little bit. So the meat's heating up. So I think we're ready. Melted we'll cheese this. is like a grinder. Yep. That's Good a Lord. big sandwich. You want to cut again? There. Oh, thanks. You do. Get yours off of there. Yeah, let's get one off of here. Well, hey, you gotta gotta give Wegmans a try if you go by. It's worth it. It's about 7:30, and I'll tell you, Sean and I enjoyed those subs. I ate every single bit of those things, and some potato chips. I had a one beer that I brought up just for tonight. Uh, this little tribute to some video games. 
and uh, yeah, that was it was good from yards. Just on a ham radio net uh, for about a half hour or so, and uh, I used my cell phone to connect into a repeater down in Dover, and uh, was talking to the folks down there. So that was, it's always nice to be able to to use the internet to connect in there when you can, when the internet's available. That's one thing ham radio is good for, that you don't need the internet to talk to anybody. But if it's here and if it's working and everything's great, uh, you go ahead and use it. So, um, and speaking of uh, ham radio, uh, I did pass the general test. So I moved up from tech to general, that second step, and I still have the extra to go if I decide to go on that path. And if I do, I think it'll be a, a little while before I make that jump or so, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I have my general, I get on the HF now, and uh, so that'll be interesting. So still waiting for Mike and Steve, uh, doing, a, doing a U-turn here, still waiting for Mike and Steve, and uh, just going to go back in. Sean and I checked our fishing gear, I think we're all set, we have it all together. So when they show up, we'll, we'll throw it in Mike's car, so we'll be able to get out tomorrow after a little bit of a breakfast. So uh, we'll wait for the guys to show up. In the meantime, I think I'm going in that cooler for another beer, another big truck. Oh, it could be a Schlitz, but now nah, let's see what we got here. Yeah. No, the India, I have the India, so let's go with something different. Oh, the Schlitz popped up. There we go, the Blondale, that sounds like a good one. Here comes the UFO that can only be the chairman. Uh oh. <laughs> oh! Hey! Can't be. Steve, is Steve even in there? He awful quiet. What do you want me to say? <laughs> hey! What's going hey, on, Steve? How's it going? Come in, how about you? All right. We're ready for a trip. We're ready for a spring trip. What's up, Thomas? Hey, hey, hold on. No. Hold on. Let's give it There. Let's now, give come into the light. Oh, we need, give, we've got to get the light, the light on. Light now on we want, oh. Yeah, now we want the, the light. light. There, there we go. go. Oh, now, well, certain back people are looking for That's right. Over the knee fat. Right in <laughs> the <laughs> pocket. Yeah, right in the pocket. Over the knee fat. All right. It ain't over the knee fat. I'm 50. All right. Well, hey, let's give you a hand getting that stuff out of there. We got the chairman and the cooker in. So, unfortunately, no medical ma'am. I know a lot of us are sad about that, but that's okay. What's the uh, what's the location for tomorrow? Blackwell. Okay, I had a feeling. And I'd like to get there by 4.30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just stay up. Let these guys settle in for a couple minutes, and we'll get their fishing stuff together. There's something up top over here. I like this. Uh, in the... In the uh, in the gray and white tuxedo over there. All right, is that just for me? Just for you. Ooh. Just for you. And nobody else got anything. Nobody else got anything. I'm very this excited. This better be a candy you, bar. Well, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, did, did we get oh, these last time? No, you're gonna open the other one first. Then oh, you're gonna open, open the other deal. one. Open that baby up. I see Timmy. <laughs> oh, and Sandy. Oh. Oh, 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 holy we... snikes. Oh, yes. yes. Mermaid hot dudes. Oh, <laughs> spin them around. Love, yes, born to them. fight, mm -hmm. rise and shine. That is hot. Mm. That's fucking nice. Where'd you get that piece? Oh. Hey, well, the wife made it for you, especially uh, for you. That's going on immediately. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, hey, yo. Senior, uh, get rid of the old nostalgia one, buddy. I'm sick of this one. It smells like your mm. Winston's. <laughs> That's the one. It's actually, it's actually not that one. It's, it's this not, one. It's that, that one. one. Yeah. Double bag it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you have to. Senior. No, it's <laughs> yeah. spray. spray. Mm. Three times. Three. Oh, this is a nice piece. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I, we were in Joanne's, and I, I happened to see that, and I said, I think you got to make a toilet. <laughs> That's got chairman written. That's right got the over. chairman. That's all right, let's 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 quickly look at a man's what a man's pillow yeah. case selection <laughs> yes. looks like. All right. Uh, we got my boys on uh, there. Yep. All drinking Bud Lights. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bud Lights. All right. Real American <laughs> genius. 
Oh, and even more guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With a note. Mike, thanks for being a good sport. Mrs. White Rose. Well, there you right? go. I actually got a nice handwritten note. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Mm. It is a Hershey bar. It is a fucking Hershey bar. I knew it. German. What is German that? Hershey bar. Damn, dude. Mm. Das Hershey? Bro. These are good. Thank mm, you. Yeah. Thank you, uh -huh. Mrs. Rowe. Thanks well. for the handwritten note, too. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. It smells <laughs> <good>. <laughs> <laughs> it like perfume. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Steve just turned the light on. 6 a.m. We got some sauce, hatch chili sausages flying off over here. Yeah. And <laughs> that was brought to you by the <laughs> That was brought to you by the chairman. We got some coffee going on. Why edit. bother? Hard edit. Hey, keep it real, people. Keep it real, keep it gassy. Mm. Keep it classy. Keep it classy. Keep it classy, San Diego. Yeah, they done. Got the bagels. The mid scramble to get dressed and get in the water first. Senior would already been in there with two fish on. Two fish and a half of Winston gone. What do you, uh, I'll see you guys there. I'm not waiting for you. Half, half a box of Winston's. Mm -hmm. Half a box. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me that soft pack either. <laughs> not a fan of the soft pack. Mike, these are hundreds. Take them back. Yeah. I want to smoke multiple. <laughs> Dad, I'm, I'm 16. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, I can't do buy cigarettes. Just go down there, and give them the money. Tell them it's for me. Well, just about ready to hop in. Got the uh, the eight fans uh, jacket here that uh, they kind enough to send me. Yeah. And, uh, just him. Just Sean. me. And uh, yeah, Sean's got some stuff. And my grandkids got. Some stuff too. So we'll see how the eight fans does. But nice jacket for this morning. A little chilly. Not sure we're gonna need it later. Hey, we'll see how they do. They might want to send me more stuff. There's the chairman up there, on the other side of the bridge. I'm working my way up to the bridge myself right now. See if I can find a little bit deeper pool. It's a little low and uh, the water's moving pretty fast. been in the past and uh, there's not a lot of pools in there that we can tell. Um, I'm not sure the other guys yet. I haven't got anything. I haven't got any things. I think I got a couple bites on the trout magnet but uh, nothing uh, nothing I landed. So uh, I'm just taking a little break here on the, uh, on the bank for a few minutes and uh, we'll go ahead and get back in and you know get my back a break for a couple. Now the guys are up on the bridge, up a little farther. I think Sean's over the truck right now, maybe doing something, maybe swapping a line, or I'm not sure. But uh, not too many guys down here this morning, which is surprising also. Usually Blackwell's pretty well loaded up. I'm not sure if they're somewhere else, or it's a Thursday and they're working or what. But uh, well, we'll keep giving it a try. No, 
Uh, here's Steve down by the old train bridge that is now rails the trails. It's a pretty far trail. I talked about that before. Well, look at the sky. Hold on, be right there. Looks like looks like Cook's got some fish over here. We're all right here. That's, that water is a little low over there. I thought I saw you taking one off. Hey, three nice ones. All, all rainbows or? All rainbows. Nice. Right, way to go, Cook. Nothing up on the other side? I had one on and that I lost and then another bite and that was it. So yeah, then I just... came down here and the first little one, it was just as I was, I watched it hit right in front of me. Mm. Um, and then mm. the second one was a, a bigger one. Well, so far, Steve behind me over here, he's the only one that's got the three. We're, the rest of us are skunked so far. There's Mike down there. He's supposedly fishing, but. And I got shit. Oh my gosh. You know, the bugs are coming out now. The flies are coming out now anyway. And Sean's over there still, still with the fly rod. Cold start to this morning, about 30 or uh, 42, 46. Uh, not bad, not bad. It's been worse down here, that's for sure. And better. Here and the uh, chairman and the chairman and cook went golfing. So they're over at Tioga Country Club, That's straight down over this way. So Sean and I are just going to mess around for a bit. Really nice out here in the deck. I think I have a cigar and a coffee and my Ooh. name on it. So. Sounds good. And then, uh, I think I may go down. And, uh, check the uh, growth that's coming around the my stand down there first, but. Uh, out here, I know there's going to be some flies, but the cigar should keep them away. So that's our that's our thing tonight, and then we'll get right into dinner, and then more fishing tomorrow. Well, it's about 3:30 or so, and Sean and I just been hanging around a little bit. Uh, went down and checked out around my stand to see how that was doing. It's in good shape, and there's some things that I'm going to do to it coming up in some future videos. I got a rubber floor to put in for it. I want to put some more screws in it change the ladder angle etc put a camel on the legs uh, I decided not to do anything until that other camo comes off because there are deer all over it now I'll tell you what let's take a let's take a look at some of these picks here that I've been getting for over the last uh, month or so as this uh, grass that I planted last year and I think a lot of it is rye uh, but it does have some other things in it that was a mixture of green machine and some kind of food plot mix and it is coming up and it's getting green and they're down there and uh hey it's great to see and i fired up a uh, blackbird cigar this is the crow and uh this is this is a stout cigar right here and we're uh, just gonna have uh, have a coffee in there i have that uh, ftc coffee that fire department coffee and that's uh, a tribute to the uh that the Navy, because they said, and I saw this on their website, that every 
Navy person has to be trained in firefighting, and that's one of the critical things for the Navy. So that was their uh, their shout out, the fire department coffee, to uh, to the Navy. So it's uh, kind of hitting both of them. Well, we don't do enough for our firefighters, and uh, and this way I'm getting both in there with the firefighters and the Navy, which is nice. And uh, I didn't bring anything up for the uh, for the Blue Pot Cafe this time. Sorry, I just put my foot on the table here. Uh, I didn't bring anything up uh, this time. Um, uh, I'm going to wait next time. And I found something for, I received another challenge coin. And I appreciate that. I'm going to leave the gentleman's name out. But uh, he gave me a coin. And uh, I appreciate that. And I have the one that uh, Mark gave me from the Navy, uh, Coast Guard. And uh, I'm going to, I found something to put those in that doesn't do any damage to them putting them up because I didn't want to like glue them or something so I found something on Amazon that's going to work real well for those and I'll probably bring those up uh, in a future video as long with a couple other pins so I'm just going to kick back have the cigar like I said 3 30 uh, the guys are probably probably making their turn at the uh, whole 10 at this time or so down there in Tioga and uh, I stop for a hot dog or something like that but we'll wait to dinner Cigar, coffee, kickback. So that's that's uh, Thursday afternoon. It's good to do. So we'll catch you in a little bit, probably uh, when I start to get those pork chops out. Here we are, dinner time. We got some pork chops. We got some trout. We got bacon wrapped asparagus, hollandaise sauce, some corn salad, and some breadsticks if they turn out right. I'm not sure if they're going to or not. Here's our pork chops. You can see. Major thickness on them babies. They're gonna take a little while. Here's our trout, hollandaise, and, and uh, corn, and of course our bacon wrapped asparagus over there. Good dinner as usual coming up. Check out this dinner so far. I think we're looking pretty good here. There's enough food here. Eight people. Dinner is coming out. Yeah. Get that real bacon. Alright. Mm. This one. Thank you. Holy shit. I tried to cook the bacon. I know how you guys are with bacon. I tried to cook it up as I'm best I could. The bacon looks fucking sharp. Any bacon uh, at all? Tom. Well, I meant as far as being done. Oh, yeah. Coming nice. Mm -hmm. Please show me. Good lord. Pork chops. Yes. Oh my. Yes. Chomp. This is my knife. This is mine. Yeah. We'll bone in. We got a bigger one and a smaller one. Give him the bigger one. He needs to eat. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go with a little Thursday night dinner. Oh, look at this plate right here. Yes. Boy. It's looking good. So I think we're going to turn off the camera at this point and go ahead and enjoy a nice dinner. These guys are already chowing down. Peace. Very good. For Sean, I think he's cleaning up in there, but we're here around the fire. As you can see, one of those green Andorondack chairs is burning up in there. It's time for him to go. I got another one at home. Next trip, or the trip after, I'll bring it up, put it together. It's a red color. You know, I've seen it.
Seven to two. Oh, Wells Brook Diner sign needs a redo, huh? Oh, yeah, that seemed kind of big. Yeah, there was. Now Steve don't know which one it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Now I know I gotta which one am I this one. Maybe. Maybe. It's a very confusing one. That's right. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. This is why we should stay at the cabin and not come out. <laughs> yeah. We're already cabinized for right. the night. We should not become the public. And when we're in the creek, we should just be like, mean the people. Get away. Get away from me. Having any luck? Don't talk to me. Thanks, so. Sam. <laughs> it wasn't even over that far, right? Tom. You no, know, but he just reads up my my, uh, my eye drifted and I only <laughs> oh, caught oh, the one. The drifting eye. Yeah, the drifting eye only caught that one. Oh, so. That's right. Blame it on your jeans. Thank you. Good work. Mm. Good work, TT. Oh, Country. She tried. Oh, see? Perfect. Oh, oh, very good. Uh, is that this guy? Yeah. Tell her, that, tell her that's perfect. Okay. He's so happy. He is yeah. so oh, yeah. Happy, Lauren? Tom. <laughs> I now I can see like the, yeah, it's a little less mixed. Before. It's the same. It's like when you're doing a, like you don't Dude, scramble cool. before you nice to, to try. Yeah. Well, now they try. Now they'll put it on there. Yep. Uh, yeah. Like I get a free breakfast for giving you a new uh, item. No. No. Uh, she said, no. Uh, thank you. No, she said no and laughed at me. Yeah, so. she did. I'll get you more coffee. Yeah, you can pay double. We are all in here. Thank you. Oh, this is all in. We got to change it to all in camp. Yep. Sorry, Dad. Oh, oh my God. We don't even have room for the table for that. Oh, my gosh. Well, Steve's got eight plates. Yeah, that's true. There we go. Wellsboro Diner. Look at, the, look at this sweet roll right here for the chairman. Right. I'm getting sweet on something. <laughs> uh oh, Mike forgot his cookies. You want to go fishing with us? Here we go. Is the grease coming through the bag? Yeah. No, they put them in wax paper. Oh, now. That's and here's cheating. the worst part. So what do you think that sweet roll had calorie wise? Oh. Oh. Probably only like a hundred, right? Hundred, I'd say like seven fifty minimum. minimum. Jesus, maybe twelve hundred. Yeah, yeah, that could be twelve hundred. Day two, Blackwell. Did the river crossing again, creek crossing. Well, we'll get dressed and uh, we'll get in there. We, we were able to find some butter worms this morning at the tackle shop there in Wellsboro. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get the tackle shack. I got to get it right, the tackle shack. Wait a second. What is, what is going on over here with this bottom half of this guy? <laughs> That's a fishing what? statement right here, Wait son. A second. Get some of that, son. Oh, my gosh. All right, there we go. It's a statement. It's a statement, yeah. It's a statement, all right. Thank you. We've got Steve with another one. Yeah. And he came off three feet. Uh, come on now, guys. A little cooperation here. That's the third one between Steve and I that we lost. So we've got to work on setting those hooks or something like that. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. Nice morning, though. A lot warmer than yesterday. Bugs are out already, which I think is going to help. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little one. It's a little one I got. Let's let him go. Come on, let's cooperate and get out of there. There you go. Back to your friends. That nice little one. That was eight, nine inches at the most. But hey, I'll take it as a fish. All right, Steve's got one. Official fish in the net. Hey, little guy. All right, two for Steve. Come on. Oh, what do we got? The Wells, the Wellsboro tarpon. Is that what? Oh, he's a fighter. Oh, look at him. Well, what do they call fall fish? 
fall fish, is that what they call them? Huh? A fall fish? A sucker? No, no, it's not a sucker. I saw some guys calling them fall fish. Let's get him off of there. Hey, I'm still counting that as number three. I got. I don't know. Can I count that as a fish? I say that's three, right? Count it as a fish. Yeah, not a trout, but a fish. One trout, two fall fish. There you go. Nice day. You can see all the the hatch there against the the bridge. I hope it comes out across the camera. We've seen a few fresh fish rising, not too many yet. Not sure how Mike and Sean are doing. Haven't seen them for a little bit. But hopefully uh, they're, they're hitting something up there on the other side of the bridge. About four or five of those fall fish and uh, the one trout, the small one. That was it. So uh, I'm about done. For this morning I'd say uh, I'm gonna go up and see how the guys are making out up on the other side of the bridge there broken glass <laughs> and then you... <laughs> a little tree clearing earning our lunch and dinner Yeah. I'll push it out of the way. I'm back here at the pit, right over here. And uh, I'm gonna put it about another half or so of the uh, Antler King Lick Magic. And again, that was some of the stuff I got clearance from Tractor Supply. And if you're wondering about me and Lucky Buck, go with Lucky Buck because I can see a difference on how the deer are hitting it and they seem to prefer Lucky Buck a lot better. So if you're thinking about either one or something, absolutely go with Lucky Buck. But I have this and you know, there's no reason for me not to put it out here. They are coming into it. Let's take a look at some pics. And as you can see, they, they are coming into it. Now that Black Ops stuff that I got back in uh, March, the the block and the, the, the uh, attractant, the mineral attractant, uh, I would stay away from both of the Black Ops products. I wasn't real happy with either one of those. You can see there's still a lot of block available. Some of that, uh, that white in the, is the, the mineral, but they really just didn't seem like they were that attracted to it. And as you can see, there's a lot of the Lick Magic still there. So uh, I'm still gonna put some more out just to freshen it up. You should do that to your pits, uh, even though you think like, oh, there's still some there, but it's good to freshen them up. Like with a half a bucket, quarter bucket, half a bucket, and do it that way. So at some point I will be bringing a Lucky Buck back, probably like a, you know, one of the late summer ones, the last time I'll put it out before the, before the season. more like two-thirds of a bucket but that's okay it's not an exact science so that is done how about we uh, how about we go up the landing area we'll take a look at that and hang a game camera up there I'm up here in the landing area and uh, we talked about the clover we'll see what happens with it uh, it needs water. We need rain up here. And we're supposed to get a thunderstorm this afternoon and rain tomorrow, which it definitely needs. And that's why I don't think we're seeing as much of it as we should be seeing. But I picked out a tree that I'm uh, actually leaning against with the camera right now. And uh, I'm going to put the game camera up to kind of keep an eye up on this spot right here to see what happens. And uh, yeah, 
like you said, really, just to see what happens, see what happens, get some rain, and this is going to grow. So, well, I did talk to Mike when he came back from the truck. I missed, uh, I missed getting him on camera, but he had a he had a good uh, morning at the old Blackwell, and uh, he said he caught, I don't know, 50, 20, 15 to twenty five. I can't remember what he said, but he was he was hitting the trout like crazy up on the other side, and which is great for him. Uh, congrats, nice to catch some fish and threw them all back, which is fine. And uh, we, we had to, we had the three fish last night, and that was that was enough. And uh, yeah, so it was great. And well, what you don't see the guys now? Where? Oh, it's uh, what time we got here? Hold on. Oh, it's it's three fifteen. Uh, they're all taking a nap. <laughs> if anybody should be taking one, it should be me. But whatever. It's, but uh, I'll go ahead and get this game cam up. And uh, then we get back there, and uh, we'll see what else I got to do. There it is up in the tree. Back off a little bit. And it basically should it should hit all this area in here. So we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping for the best in here. Give me some rain. Get back to the cabin, and uh, let's go flying. Gonna be right back on here in the grass as soon as we leave. Yes, What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Um, pick up under Mike, I Mike? believe. Did yeah. you have pizza? Or? We have pizza, stromboli, wings. Extra side of is there extra marinara or a thing of marinara? With the there is two, two big cups. Is oh, that good? Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, so. Thank it, you. Yes, How are you? Pick up the pad. Yeah. Better smile. No, she said I'm better stop. Uh, it's too safe. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. all right. It's a good thing. Somebody wants me to make a three square. Three, three square. Yeah. Somebody wants you to do. Step up and do that. Yep. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all Ooh. in the same day too. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's a tough a, one. That would be a big challenge. For me. Yep. Breakfast, I can wreck out. I can do scrambled eggs. I can do. Mm. You do like, a little scrambled egg, bacon, sausage. Like what you did the other yeah. day was awesome. Like mm -hmm. it tasted real good. Dude, yeah, sausage not, not that not that hard to but do. But nothing crazy. Yeah. Did you put the bagels on the grill? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna do grill. that. Yep. Yeah, there is a toaster up there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There is. A, yeah. We left the toaster there, which yeah, we do frequently use when we're up there. If you really 
you really, you know, want to just make it easy do the toaster. Like lunch, I can think so I can get away with like You know when lunch is you know, lunch. You can do hamburgers, you can do a cheesesteak. Yep. I think I think you could do I've it. I've never seen a frog hot hook before. No, I don't think I have either. I think the only thing is, you, you see, there was a stipulation, no help. Oh, that's really? The, yeah, that's the thing. No, no that advice. everywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to work. Right? No, I mean, no help. Like, we can't help you with the dinner. Can't, like, tell you when to turn oh, the steak over. Oh, that was the stipulation. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. Well, then, this is what I do. I'm a cutter and looker on uh -huh. one. Yeah, yeah. And then I take that one. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And give you guys the presentation one. Yep. Yes, yeah, that works. So, I can do that. Oh, I don't have my seatbelt on. All right, let me turn this off and... Well, hold on now. If I okay. even do that, step up and do that, like, this guy's got to do something, you know. Yeah. I mean, if I, we're doing requests. Yeah. You know? All right, here we got Tony's again. Tony's! You have to. I'm with you, Mike. I'm going to try one of these wings right here. Holy shit, they're hot. Big pieces. Mm, okay. What kind of it's like buffalo, straight up? Well, well, one's mild, one's It's time for the okay. camera to go off as always, and time and to enjoy some food. You want me to come over and net it for you? Oh yeah, I don't have a net. That's what I mean. No, he can pull through it, huh? Okay. Yeah, I'll go. Give me. Is he still on there? Yeah. All right. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it looks like a little rainbow. The fake Hendrix said work. There you go. Well. Hold on. Let me give it a shot here. Oh, hold on. Oh, well, he's uh, he's. I think he's off. Is he off the hook now? Yeah. He got his first trout in a fly rod. Pop that cherry. <laughs> got to bite his head off. Oh. <laughs> Is that the ritual? That's a ritual. It's all rained up. Pressure's on, camera's rolling. Camera's on. And he's netted. There we go. Tom, keep that rolling for my proper catch and release technique. Yeah, there we Simple. go. Ain't going. Is he pulling? He's pulling hard. Oh, he jumper. Set that drag, nerd. It is set. You might be able to sterilize his reel in. Yeah. What you got, hell of it? I don't know. Looks like a nice of it. That's a big ass fallfish. Oh, all right. <laughs> See, you can eat it. But where the catch can. You're the one. That's a nice fucking rainbow. Nice rainbow. You're in the way, Mike. I ain't moving for this fat piece of shit. Mm, yeah. Well, hey, don't blame you. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I will if you want me to. Yeah, 
off you can hear me over the winds. We had a great morning today. Uh, Sean got a couple on the fly rod. Steve got a three, four. Chairman got four or five. And I think I topped out about six or so this morning. A great morning of fishing. Storm this afternoon. So we're going to head back to the cabin. And we'll see what we get into. fish here. We got some jumbo eggs. Oh yeah. We got Sean on the grill here for a little brunch. That's right. A little tail of pork roll too. We brought the filly to camp as usual. Cook over here with the tail of pork roll. Sean inside with the scrapple. Uh -oh. Alright. It's a healthy lunch. Get out of your way. Right. Steve is prepping for dinner here. What kind of mushrooms ground up? A little cooking wine. He's going to be using the Dutch oven again. See, he's going to be making some uh, chicken a little bit later. Little chicken potatoes and uh, Brussels sprouts. So that's going to be good tonight. Look forward to that in a few hours. That's for sure. Well, we got back to the cabin. Uh, had that great lunch or breakfast or brunch, whatever you want to call it. Sean and Steve did some good cooking out there. So now we're just kind of messing around. We're sort of waiting to see what this weather does. Uh, we have some storms in the area and uh, they may be blowing through a little bit. We'll see. So probably just going to have a nice lazy afternoon, I think. Nice lazy Saturday afternoon. So Steve will get cooking about two and we'll just kick back and enjoy. So that's what we're here for. That's what everybody should be doing. Enjoy life as much as you can. Oh, it has begun. Dinner has begun, even though we've got hours to go. But this is this is what it's supposed to do. You can go in there and sit and cook and slow roast. So we got cook on the grill today. Oh, oh that looks like plenty of chicken too. That's like four each. Need a can of beer for that too? I got just the one Schlitz. You want to add beer to it? You can add beer to it. No. I'm not responsible for the results. Uh, oh, that's true. If I do that, then it's going to be all on me. Something tastes off in this. Must have been that beer Tom threw in. That's right. Must have been. Full bottle? Full bottle. Gonna be in there for that long. I ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, uh, just thunder. Okay. Yep. Little pink Himalayan ground. Now, what was this? Umami. Umami. Okay. So, this is made from shiitake mushrooms. This one. And of course, a little bit of water. Yep. Yeah. Uh, here she goes. Close her up. Nice, Steve. Got some rain coming down. Like you're down to about two two thirty. Hmm. Huh? It's two hundred. Two hundred? Two hundred is done second. I'm just gonna lower it. Let it simmer. Okay. The rain's been coming down for two hours now at least. Go ahead, I'll get that. All right. There it goes. Well, here it is. It smells awful good. It's been smelling it for like an hour now, at least. Can you 
smells delicious. Yeah, where's the mushrooms? I need mushrooms in here. No, I know. Yeah. Smells good. And this is boneless? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Cut and go. Cut and go? Yeah. Cut and go. Thank you, Shaq. Well, we're going to enjoy it. We'll let you know how it was. We'll let, we'll let you know how Steve did uh, over there. Well, it made a good this is all that's left. All that's left. Hey, Mike, I heard you got recognized at <laughs> Dick Sporting Goods and a, and a job. I did. I yeah. ran into a guy at uh, Caddick Construction in Ben Salem on a job. Uh, embarrassed me in front of his 20 fellow workers when they asked me if I make hunting videos and then <laughs> scream, it's the f***ing chairman. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I was in Dick Sporting Goods in Lawrence, New Jersey, Princeton area. And a guy came up to me, I forget his name, super nice guy. Uh, had his daughter with him and was loving the videos. Mm. Embarrassed, that, you know, hey. totally embarrassed me to get recognized for this stuff. But it was nice. He was a super nice guy. So I told him I said, what's up? Forgot his name, unfortunately. But yeah. thanks well, for coming up. Give me a shout out. That's, yeah, that's good. Super nice guys, man. It's nice to... When the guys are nice and oh yeah, you yeah. know, appreciate Absolutely. they all appreciate your work, Tom. So yeah. that's all nice. Right. Well, hey, all right. Well, Mike is getting ready to go this morning, Sunday morning. So we'll give him a we'll give him a clap. Peace, peace out, peace out. There's Steve somewhere over Where there. He's probably ball? stuffing a one last pecan roll <laughs> in his face. Yeah. Where's he at? Did <laughs> the exit? Oh, there we go. Be in touch. See you. All right, guys. Good work. Uh, get Jack Reed Thomas. 4,000. Good seeing you. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, good seeing Working you, Steve. Work that. Working it. Jackery, yeah, Jackery 6,000. Jackery, <laughs> reach out. <laughs> you know, we, you don't need a YouTube channel. I can promote you at work. Yeah, there you go. that's for sure. Cross promotion. You know, I lose my electric all the time in our uh, complex. Oh, well, there you go. That's, you that's why you need uh, something like that. Jackery 3,000. Yeah. <laughs> Complimentary would yeah. be real nice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um big hugs, tiny kisses. Okay. Alright, hey, if you talk to the guy about the stone over here, let me know too. Yeah, I'll let you know. Um okay. you know if, if you want to stick maybe a stake in the like right here, something kind of thing. Yeah. Because I might be able to get him to come up. And maybe just take a look at take yeah. a look at it, and then maybe maybe we'll put a couple stakes in. A couple stakes, and we can uh, level off like 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 Sean was saying. Sunday morning could be brunch time or so for us. Uh, I got some bacon frying up, sizzling right here. Might be able to hear that in the background. But uh, I think Sean and I are not going to do any fishing today. We did for the last three days, and had a good day yesterday. And with that rain. Uh, I don't think that it changed much. The guys texted us, said it didn't really look that different down in Morris. So I think we're good for that. We're just gonna do a few things around the cabin here. We got a couple items. Uh, we wanna mark out that spot that we were talking to the chairman about. My camera is not uh, um, sending pics up there. It hasn't communicated. It should at least twice a day and it hasn't. So I wanna go up and take a look at that. I think we're gonna bring the ladder up and we'll get some smoke here. We'll put the ladder up and uh, put it up maybe a little bit higher and hopefully that will will take care of it then we won't have to worry about bears or humans either right now we got this bacon frying up here Sean's inside and getting some eggs ready we'll do a little sandwich and uh, that sounds good there we go we got loaded up with bacon got a couple of egg and cheese over here oh yeah look at this already is it fit right on that bagel mm -hmm. yeah I'll we'll bring them over pop right on top of the bacon yep Yeah, we got some good breakfast going on now. There we go. All right. Boom. And done. Hey, just want to take a couple minutes to talk about the eight fans gear that Sean and I were wearing over the last couple of days. Really served us well. And, uh, you know, I'm wearing the jacket right now. This is, this is, you know, really nice windbreaker type jacket. Kept me really warm that first day when it was a little bit on the cold side. And uh, hey, what do you think about your gear? Oh, it was good. It's actually the first time I've had, because I was using your old waders before, quite dated, uh, that only came up to here. So I always had to worry about getting flooded. So this is my first experience with the pants. And uh, 
they feel really nice. They're lightweight, so didn't really add a bunch of extra weight. And I had the neoprene socks basically just built right into them. And they just went with the, I got the size 11 uh, boot made by them as well. Right. And the fit, fit was good for the size 11? So I usually, was, yeah, I usually wear 11. Wear 11. And you got 11 and it fit, fit perfect? Yeah, it was just, it was, it was right on. Um, and they drain pretty well because they got the mesh. So anytime I got out of the water, it was nice because they actually they just kind of pump the water out after maybe six steps or something like that. Um, no felt on the bottom. They went with like an actual boot grip, which I actually found to be nice. Um, I honestly was trying to think of a time that I slipped and we were on some mossy stuff and I did not. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's got a little circular pattern on there. Um, it was good, non-slip. I had the full wader, you know, the full all the way up to the chest. And uh, they were very comfortable, fit perfectly. Uh, if they were missing one thing, that was the little pocket where you could warm your hands up a little bit. If, if that's the only thing that I found that they were missing. But really enjoyed wearing them. Same thing with Sean, with the neoprene socks like the regular waders have. And they also did send me a full neoprene. Uh, waiter like Mike had but uh, you know this is from our friends at eight fans and uh, I tried these on at home I was gonna use them here if there was an occasion but uh, like today if we went out but I tried them on at home now these are XLs and for me they were a little teeny teeny bit tight but hey, you know that's what happens when you, you should drop a pound or two but uh, again real real nice they actually have a building light bar which is you know kind of a bit of a gimmick for me but it's removable, you take it out. And this does have the little spot where you can put your hands in. Appreciate it, eight fans. Uh, website is right here and it's gonna be in the description below. And uh, here's a discount code. I think it's uh, 10 or 15%. I can't remember which they gave me, but here's your discount also. Uh, and if you're interested, check out the eight fans. We really liked it. We had no leaks, mm -hmm. no issues, no rips or anything like that. So uh, for us, it was really good. So again, uh, for our friends at Eight Fans, thanks a lot. And again, we did enjoy this stuff, and it wasn't we're not we're not just making this up. Uh, everything really worked really well. Sean and I marked out probably an area 15 by 20, 15 by 18, something like that, or 12 by 18, whatever, just to put our fire ring over here, and just to be in this spot, and then be be able to sit here and catch our view that way the beautiful views that we have over here and of course some of this over here and get this cleaned up uh, I think I'd like to get actually a, a fire in here controlled fire of course and kind of just start burning off some of this stuff at some point so uh, this is a nice little area it's just just too nice of a spot now to to just have it as nothing so we're gonna Talk to someone, get a couple loads of stone dumped in there, and then we won't have any issues with ashes or embers or anything like that. Yeah, looking forward to that, and uh, I think we may have another new fire ring to put in there, a new fire station or cube to put in there, too. We'll see if that happens. But uh, you know, nice nice day today, Sean. And I, Sean and I are just kind of having a good time, just hanging a little bit, talking, and... Uh, you know, doing a little clean up in the cabin, straightening it up and putting things away, getting ready to, to head out tomorrow, which we're going to do. But, uh, so yeah, so far we've been having a, you know, just a nice relaxing day. Last, last day here is good to just do a little bit of nothing. And we might listen to a podcast later and something like that. Oh, but if you were wondering if you're still hanging in there, that movie from the last time, uh, with this frame in here, or these frames, that was Churchill, and uh, a very, uh, very good movie. I, I enjoyed that. It was a nice character piece, a nice section of time because it was only like a, a few week piece in there, and it was interesting to see what happened over that uh, course of time, uh, to see, you know, try to get a, a better idea of who Churchill was. It's not being English. You know, they didn't really, <laughs> we didn't learn about Churchill in school like we did at Abraham Lincoln or G George Washington or whoever else. So um, have a, to learn a little bit of uh, something like that was, was nice to do. And uh, Gary Oldman, he sure did a good job 
of playing the character and had to sit through a lot of makeup every day. So uh, props to him too. So uh, I'm probably not going to put one in for this uh, video, but when, when I come back, uh, definitely do it again. Heard a little something on the roof. Wait a second, what is this? Uh, I think that's ice. Nothing like a little spring hail or sleet. I don't know what you want to call this. It's like an eighth of an inch here. Oh, oh well. It's okay. We've been inside doing a few things. Straightening our DVDs up and things like that. So, uh, nothing like a little hail. A little ice. Passing cloud. There it is. Bouncing off the roof. It'll, it'll be going in 20 minutes and the sun will be back out. That's how today's been going. Hey, dinner time rolled around. And uh, even though we could certainly keep things cool, brought up the, the wife's canned chicken thighs. And uh, if you're not into canning, you can buy canned chicken. If you're going to go on a camping trip or something like that, you want to take some kind of something like this along, you can certainly buy this at Walmart. It's, it's there. Uh, we're going to pop this in. We're going to make a little Progresso creamy wild rice soup stew since I'm going to put the chicken in and, and that's what we're going to have tonight something nice and simple and uh, like I said I could have had this sitting up here for a week and then had it now and, and would be ready you can do the same thing you go get yourself some some chicken at Walmart or any of the big stores get it to a boil wait 20 minutes 40 minutes whatever and we'll have some dinner towards the end of that run huh uh, doing a lot of like I guess you can't get too big if you're on a stovetop put our other ingredients in there we go. Just about to a boil. And then we'll let it simmer for 20, 20 to 30 minutes. All right, it's finished. Doesn't look like much right now. We'll see what it, we'll see when we dish it out. Right, here we are at the table and uh, we got our soup or stew and uh, it dipped down to 40. So we're, we're kind of talking about comfort food at this point. Oh, yeah. Feels good in here at 64, 65, but uh, got some nice uh, nice stew. You can see that nice chicken that I added in there, make it a little bit more hearty. So I guess, uh, as always, the, the camera goes off and we get eaten. Hey, it's Monday morning, uh, pretty about 6.30 or so. Sean and I are going to get ready to head back. We enjoyed the dinner last night and then sat back, watched a couple movies, watched uh, The Hornet's Nest. It's just more of a documentary uh, about Afghanistan and uh, very interesting to watch. And, and again, uh, thank you for your service to us for all those, I think it was airborne uh, out there uh, doing what they had to do and, and sacrificing for us. So uh, we... We enjoyed that last night, uh, watched that, and then watched a little bit of something a little lighter after that and uh, headed on in, but enjoyed the time together. Got to spend a little time just talking and doing a few things yesterday, which I enjoyed, uh, you know, a little father and son time, which was great. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed the spring trip video. Uh, I'll, I'll probably be back. Uh, I'm not sure when, a few weeks, it could be a few weeks, could be a little longer, not sure. Uh, we'll see how the, the seed's doing up there, and then I've got some things to do on my stand down there. That's probably uh, some of the things you're going to see coming up is uh, me working on that stand down there. Speaking of coming up, I think we got a beautiful sunrise behind us over here. Uh, the cloud doesn't get in the way, but uh, it's going to be a nice morning, we'll, nice drive home. Again, we'll takes about uh, six hours or so. Going to make a stop at Ham Radio Outlet there in Newcastle and pop in for some some something, one or two things. Not sure yet, but uh, it's always interesting going at Ham Radio Outlet. So, well, for the chairman, Camp Cook, Syntex 77, Mike, Steve, Sean, uh, this is Tom, White Ruck 85. Hey, we're going to catch you next time, that's for sure.